Okay, I've got my box we from our previous video. I deleted the line off. I want to get in here and show you how are we going to dimension this. So there's a variety of ways that we can dimension and there's really just one dimension tool that we have up here and we don't have anything that's, uh, you know, it doesn't have a, a whole bunch of options on it, but this is the main tool that we're going to use. So we're going to dimension this. So using dimension, I want to dimension the height of this box uh, or this rectangle. Now, the way that we can do that is there's a couple different ways to do it. And one is the height of this box is really the length of this line. So if I click on that line, Inventor is going to say, is this the length or is that the dimension that you want? And in this case, that is the dimension that I want. And if I click that down, it's going to ask me, I can modify that dimension if I know what, it want, what I want it to be, or I can just hit enter. Uh, in this case, I'll make this, I'm going to make it three. Uh, and by default, that's three inches. So if I don't uh, put any uh, units on it, it automatically makes it three inches. Now, if I hit enter, whoop, it goes way up and it's off the screen. So what I can do is I can use my scroll wheel and zoom out here. The other thing I can do is click on my little uh, zoom all icon. This is one of them that sometimes comes in handy is I can click on the zoom all and then it will fit everything to the screen here. Now the other dimension that I want to show is the width of this box. Now I can click on this line and dimension that line. I'm going to zoom out here just, uh, just a little bit so I can have a little space. Uh, I could click on this line and I would get that dimension, which is what I want, but I want to show you another way to do this too. So when we use this dimension tool, because these two lines are parallel, we can really define the distance between those two lines. And if with the dimension tool selected, I can click and release on my first line. Now it's going to show me this dimension, but that's not the dimension that I want. I want uh, this horizontal dimension. What I need to do is go over and select the second line. You can see it highlights the second line and I click on that and now it's going to say, is this the dimension that you want? And in this case, yes, that is the dimension that I want. I'm going to put my dimension right down here and I'm going to make this four inches wide and hit enter. And again, it makes my box and it goes off the screen. I'm going to hit my zoom all and bingo. Now we have our box there. Now the other thing that you'll notice with this dimension is that there, the box is all blue now or dark blue, which means that it is fully defined. There's no other things that we need to uh, dimension or add to this box. It knows exactly what uh, Inventor knows all of the dimensions needed for this. So I want to show one other way that we dimension. And I'm going to add a line in here uh, because sometimes this comes in handy is that if I put a line, let's say I had a line that I wanted to put up to some point in the, the this box. Now I want to dimension this angle. So uh, how do we add an angular dimension? Well, we use still use the dimension tool. And what I want to do is I want to dimension between this lower line and, and it gives me say, is this the dimension that you want? And I was like, no, 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 I don't want that dimension. I'm going to click on this line here. And now it's going to say, oh, that's at an angle. So you must want an angle dimension. And that's what it's saying. So that's, I can put this in here. Now, the other thing here is that that's the dimension I want. But if I move my cursor around, you can see it moves where it dimensions to. So it depends on where or how you want to dimension these lines, we can change those around. So that's one other thing to kind of keep in mind. So we can click that down. And again, we can change that. Let's say I want it to be 45 degrees. Bingo, it makes it 45 degrees right away. So um, again, we're going to use that one dimension tool. It'll do linear dimensions. It will do angular dimensions. It'll be the tool that you'll want to use for, for most everything. It makes it very easy to use.